In this video, I want to show you how to make your PCB by using CNC machine without using Gerber file and also you don't need to install any software on your PC. You can't find any YouTuber that talk about this method before. So please like this video and subscribe to my channel. All we need here is access to two websites, EasyEDA and Easel. Let's take an example. Here I have this simple LED flasher and I want to make it on the PCB. First go to easyeda.com. After sign in, select new PCB. Insert your PCB size. My PCB is 5 cm in 5 cm. From here you can search for the components of your circuit. Then connect the components together by using these red traces according to your schematic. Now you have to take a screenshot from this PCB layout. Then go to easel.inventables.com Insert your PCB size. Here I have to double the PCB size to get the best result. For example, my PCB size is 50mm in 50mm, but I have to set it 100mm in 100mm. From here you have to select the screenshot that you taken from your PCB layout. You have to click here and select invert. Here you have to select cut on, insert 0.1mm depth and select your milling tool, insert your CNC machine type and port number. From here you can move in the X axis, Y axis and Z axis of your CNC to make sure it working well. Now you have to fix your copper board on the working space of the CNC. You can do that by using some screws and washers but I don't prefer that way. Because when you use them to fix in the copper board on the working space, you waste some areas on the copper board. To solve in this problem, I just use hot glue. Move the drill bit and set it at the right corner of the board. Move the Z axis by your hand slowly down until the drill bit just touching the board. Then switch on the motor and click on carve. It asks you to make sure the drill bit touching the board and the motor switched on. When you confirm, you can start. Now I have done the engraving. The next process is drilling. Moving up the Z axis and replace the drill bit. Then click here on drill and put this sign on each pad. Now remove the traces and click on carve. Making sure the drill bit touching the copper board. Switch down the motor and start to drilling. When it done, I removed the PCB by using a cutter knife. I cleaned the PCB by using a sandpaper. As you can see, it's very nice without any short circuit. Then I soldered the components on the PCB. And finally, as you can see, the circuit working well. The last thing that I want to do is coating the copper traces because if you leave in the copper without coating, some corrosion can happen. I'm using this nail polish to do that. It is cheap and easy to use. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.